Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, A Deal with Demons. We're in our last episode, our heroes, if you can call them that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like uh, we didn't do anything illegal yet. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I, I think so. Well, anyways, our heroes uh, went to the town of Haria and met with the lord of the uh, town. As well, uh, Farron was talking with a he- another human wizard about magic stuff and another. about. And <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no other. It's only the worst kept secret ever. And uh, and about his condition, and uh, Ryan ended up talking to the blacksmith of the town, like he does with every town. Uh, then Blaze was chatting with the Lord of or Lord Gumshot. Just about the history of the town of Korea. And then Tony went to the tavern, or sorry, Ailrendel went to the tavern and heard a uh, singer singing about like a city or a village overtaking the sea. And just chatted with the singer whose name was Zerthos for a while. And then Zach was just heading to the hall, just wait for the, all the preparations to occur. So that's where we all left off. So what does everyone want to do right now? I guess go to, like go to the hall for the feast. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make my way down to the yeah, feast. Yeah, that's where I would go. Make Time's my way appropriate. Down. I'm also eager to tell okay. Lazarus about this underwater city and an underwater monster because I know he likes. <clears throat> okay, so y'all are just heading to the hall. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, those weapons that, uh, Alvin showed me, were any of them magical? Would I have known if they were magical or not? Uh, you could do an insight check. Yeah. Uh, you believe that the double-sided uh, double sided longsword was, had some magical ability to it. You're not sure exactly what it was, but you felt magic coming from it. Okay, so you all head to the hall, and you see the preparations are beginning to begin. Uh, so people are, are like, starting to move tables in and lots of chairs and decorating the place with different, like, uh, scenic stuff and, like, any special town traditional uh, images or tapestries and stuff like that are being put up. And uh, behind the this hall that's where they're actually making the food so they've dug like a a small pit and they're roasting like uh they're roasting a a few pigs with lots of potatoes and vegetables of different kinds all in that pit in like a big huge pot type thing and the small wafting from that is just amazing like you there's not much you've smelled that's better than this uh, so, is there anyone you want to talk to, or anything you want to do at this point, or should we just fast forward to the feast? Yeah, I'll just go find a spot that's closest to the food prepping area, so I'll just sit in the seat and smell the food. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, you're able to find a place to sit near there. Cool. And do you see that it's a uh, dragonborn and uh, two dwarfs that are preparing all of the food? Sweet. Uh, yeah. anything else? I don't think so. No, I'm just looking for Lazarus. Okay, and you, you just end up going to the hall, right? Yeah, I yeah. Was just sitting at the hall. Yeah, so yeah. So you found Lazarus. I'm pretending to be yeah. a chair. <laughs> 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 yeah, so if there's nothing anyone wants to do right now, I'll just fast forward to the feast itself. Yeah, so basically the entire town has come to this feast, and there's like around 200, maybe 300 people all packed into this one room on chairs and different tables and stuff like that. There's a small stage set up on the north end of this room to just for anyone who performs to perform here. Uh, Aylor and all, you do notice that Xerthos has made his way here and mm-hmm. seems to be just like tuning his instruments and stuff like that. 
And you do see a couple other, like, musicians and stuff like that on the stage right now. And uh, anyone that you've met while in town is here now, as well as, like, so many other people. And eventually the king kind of, I mean, the lord, uh, Lord Gumshot kind of goes to the, just in front of the stage and the music quiets down and he just pretty much does a speech just saying, uh, it, he says, this feast, as you all know, is for a group of adventurers or heroes, as you will, who Save this town from most likely defeat from a group named the Fardana. They had an enemy encampment about uh, 30 minutes south of here, where they're most likely planning to attack this morning or today. And our heroes were able to decimate them and uh, kill all of them before they could do anything about it. And these heroes are Andrew... Marcus, Blaze, Ailrandal, and Lazarus. And he kind of just shows, is yeah. kind of motioning for you guys to stand up. I continue to sit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand up. Okay. I'll just all stand up. Yeah, Please so, stand up. <laughs> uh, as you stand up, there's just a huge round of applause from everyone. <laughs> and uh, as well as some cheers and shouts and thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. You hear one. Help my kid. Help my baby. Oh, God. And, what <laughs> <now>? <laughs> and stuff like that. It ain't much, but it's <laughs> <laughs> So if we take... The names Andrew, Andrew, Marcus, Blaze, and Lazarus. We could make the word lamb, but with Blaze. <laughs> so, do you guys want that to be our name? Lamb. Lamb. Lamb, lamb Chops. That's our group oh. name. The Lamb Chops. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be Blam. <laughs> and then the king, I mean, the lord just <laughs> says, and without further ado, let's eat. And then, like, serving lamb chops. It was pig. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, a few servants will just bring out the food and lots of wine, some beer, uh, stuff like that. And they're bringing it to you guys first. Whoa. As well, well, the Lord, uh, Lord Gumshot, and you guys first. I immediately get up from the table and go and find them. Whoever was screaming. <laughs> Um, no, it says, he, uh, the shouters have my baby. Have yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the I the middle of the season was like, help my baby! Well, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes shit goes wrong. You should have just let him go. Him afterwards. All right. I thought you were going to go get lucky or something. <laughs> I, thought, I, I, thought that was I will grab right. some ale and some cheese. And some pig. Some, some um, when they come and bring me, uh, the food, uh, when they bring me the wine, do they just pour me a glass, or is it bringing the whole bottle? Uh, they pour you a glass. Uh, I grab the bottle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I grab the bottle. <laughs> Being that you are one of the heroes of Haria, you, they just allow you to. Uh, do I know when to grab the bottle? Well, uh, just roll a perception check. Like, I don't grab it from his hand, but when he goes to pour my glass, I just kind of, like, I just kind of, like, stop him yeah. or her, and I just, like... I just re- like put my hand out and then I mean, they pass me the ball. Uh, yeah, 14. they would. Fourteen. Uh, you probably would have seen this. All right, I'm just gonna make my way over there and also. Well, I assume you guys are probably at the same table together, yeah, no, right? I was just right. My head oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. My parents just standing in the kitchen. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like waiting for it to be done. Yeah, no, I'm gonna make my way over. Well, there. everything was being cooked outside in this like cooking pit type yeah, thing. Yeah, I just wanted to be close to the Okay. Area. Okay. Like, uh, like here's yeah. the giant brazier they're cooking the pig. There's like a little bit, and then like two inches. That's where that's where Fairman. <laughs> yeah, they just hold up bodies on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go over there and on my way. If I see like a jug of wine or something, I'm gonna take it and keep going. Yeah, uh, a servant is just would uh, come up to you to ask if you want some wine and would pour you a glass and ask you wanted the. Well, don't mind if I do. And I'm just gonna kick the jug, pat him on the shoulder, okay. and continue on. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you're just gonna start handing out bottles. <laughs> no one wants a glass, and they all need the bottle. 
The bottle is a glass. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'll take my seat. Okay. I'm just going to party. Yeah. I'm just going to take... Uh, uh, oh, Stockholm, and I'm gonna go find Lazarus. Who we def- definitely did not forget about. Oh, Alright, we didn't forget, he just wasn't important in <laughs> the last episode. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna go talk to Lazarus about this underwater uh, monster in deep water lake. I'll be like, uh, mm-hmm. Hey, Lazarus! Uh, I was uh, told by uh, what the fuck's his name? Uh, Gosha! That there's... Why did I get a list all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. There's a monster in Deep Water Lake. I know you like monsters. <laughs> Apparently, no one who has seen it has survived. That's underwater, though. <laughs> so? Me water don't really mix that well. Because <laughs> he died of the, almost died of the cool toa. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Remember when you tried to swim that fucking lake for no reason? I know I, I, I do not recall. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking we should check it out. Do you want to come with me? What, right now? Sure, let's go. <laughs> I mean, Alright! <laughs> right now it is! Uh, I better it later. Uh, I'll grab uh, as much food as I can from in front of me and I'll just start uh, attempting to head out. Okay. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I do the same thing. I just putting my bag. I'm like, guess we're going now. Yeah, yeah no one actually stops you from leaving or anything like that. Cool. And you guys, uh, how do you notice that a tiefling is now on stage and playing music? Uh, you know him as Zerthos. Yeah. And the first song he uh is playing is a song that he calls uh. Uh, the first song is the sea takes the city and then it's like a, it's actually it's the same song that you heard when you're fighting Shavadah. Mm-hmm. I heard that too right? yes yeah and then after a while he uh he goes on the next song and this is a song called the empty city and it's just about a city with no one in it and stuff like that uh, is there anything you guys would like to do? After we hearing that song, I'm kind of intrigued. I'll stop in my tracks. Okay. Um, What's wrong? <laughs> this song. <laughs> it speaks to me. <laughs> I've heard it before. <laughs> Beautiful lyricism, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an uneasy feeling. Something tells me the lyrics really just correspond with our lives. <laughs> That voice is almost getting kind of toad-like now, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey> Mario! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Bridges, Beach is gone again! No, I lost it. <laughs> and at this point, a lot of the locals are coming up to you guys to shake your hands as well and say thank you so much and stuff like that. I don't know hide my hands. Okay. I'm not going to see. <laughs> they just walk up to you, they put up their hand, they're like, thank you so much, and you just stand there. <laughs> no, 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 I, I wrap my sleeves and my big cloak, yeah. oversized cloak around my hands, and I use, like, the mouth part to hold yeah. it, and I just give them a little hug. <laughs> <laughs> and I give them hugs. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's adorable. Yeah, yeah they're totally into this. <laughs> Do they have gimp masks? Put this on, quick! <laughs> have my baby! <laughs> Autographs are two gold each. Autographs are two gold each. <laughs> <laughs> That's a steep price. You do, you do get uh, three people who do ask for your autograph. One time only! <laughs> Live to die, Mom! I'm going to be alive very much longer! <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I just say to, like, if there's anyone from the party that's sitting next to me at the table, I just say, um, like, uh, I, like, kind of gesture to the Zethros, and I'm like, oh, that, what is it? Zerthos. Huh? Zerthro. Zerthos. Potato, potato. Um, I just say, I'm like, uh, that guy played at the bar earlier. Fascinating. I want to know, but what are you truly riveting? What's wrong, Lazarus? Whoa. I can't pick one. Uh, what's wrong, Lazarus? Really 
<laughs> well, no, you had stopped in your tracks because you heard this cool song. You said, oh, I've heard it before, so I asked you what's up with it. Maybe we shouldn't leave right now. This this song's a bad omen. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you hear omens. Yeah. <laughs> I walked under a ladder today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should go stand over there. <laughs> I look behind him. Is that a black cat? <laughs> I'll give the three people the autographs and I'll just run off. <laughs> I'm out. Like out of the hall? Yeah, away, okay. from, away from this song. It okay. just <laughs> runs away. <laughs> the hero of the city is like his curse. <laughs> <laughs> You're all gonna die! <laughs> Alright. Anyway, while all this is going on, Brian will have had a few glasses of wine mm-hmm. and is definitely feeling it because he's a hell of a lightweight. And he's gonna go find Alvin. Okay. He's gonna go have that lady's child. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have my child. Right, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Let's go all right now. <laughs> I can save the kids from birth. <laughs> 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 yeah so um, <laughs> it, t- it takes you a little, a little bit to actually find Alvin just because he's so short and you're short too so you can't see over tall people and you're a bit drunk too at this point so yeah, you guys have actually been looking for each other for 20 hours <laughs> 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 Sweet. eventually you do find him though okay I'll plot that next one like cross the line I'll swap out his phone table a little bit. But uh, I'll, I'll just like lean in close and be like, So, that sword earlier you said you had a price. What kind of price? I actually need to look at prices for swords just so I don't blow ball again, like in a uh, summer sale. Like that. that thing you or yeah. It was far uh, way more than what you saw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that cheese. Yeah. Thousands of gold pieces. It's okay, I haven't used it yet. Go come in. Is that the one you bought? I thought that was the one that guy wouldn't sell me. I bought one. Yeah, it was the one that he wouldn't sell you. It was the same situation. Because I was like, it was like, I think you said like 150 gold, and I was like, oh, that's too much. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. Normal long sword is 15 gold. Yeah, no, I just looked it up, yeah. Uh, so he says, that's one of my prized possessions that I made, so uh, it'd have to be. 80 gold. How much money do you have? I have 40 more. Do you want some money? Yes. I only have 30 and I was just going to use it on food anyway. I have 71 gold and 5 silver pieces. And does that include the 30 that uh, the king was going to get for oh, all of you? No. Well, well, okay, well, so I, I wasn't going to give you all 30 gold. Oh, well, okay. I'll give you like 15. I want some money. Well, I don't know. If, if I got the <laughs> Yeah, so at at one point during this feast, uh, one of the uh, one of Lord Gumshot's advisors just brings each of you a small bag with thirty gold pieces in it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, we can get. I, uh, yeah. I'll give you fifteen gold. No, I don't need it. Oh, you don't need it. I mean, let's only give me five silver no. pieces. I spent all. I'm gonna spend all my money. I say to the guy who uh, brought me the. The money, and I say, uh, where's also that bottle of rum that the Lord promised me? <laughs> uh, roll deception. That's oh, sweet. It was like a. <laughs> no, it was, I saw a 19. Yeah, I did as well, so I'm just trying to be fair. Uh, 11. This <laughs> 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 Uh, so this servant is like, oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I'll, I'll go, go get it right now. And he runs off, and like a couple of minutes later, he comes back. He rolled a one for his insight. Oh, man. <laughs> he brings you three bottles. <laughs> and and uh, he tells you it's, it's aged rum and is like uh, 20 years old. Awesome. I say, thank you very much, and I uh, I give him two gold. Actually, I give him four, so I can okay. make him mine. Sure yeah. Yeah. Technically, he just bought rum. Yeah. Uh, he says, "Oh no, 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 no. Uh, we we don't accept tips or anything like that here." So, oh well, I just, I, uh, well, well, thank you anyway. And I, I guess I'll just keep it then. Okay. He's not willing to take it. Yeah. 
Try to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I, I can't take it. Okay. Take your own, kill your family. <laughs> yeah, so you're talking with Alan yeah. about the sword. Yeah. So I, I have 79 gold pieces and 5 silver pieces. It's not quite 80 gold, but it's almost 80 gold. That works with me. Alright. We haggle so much that it's actually yeah. annoying <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll just uh, tell you to follow him and he'll just uh, give you the sword cool okay which sword do you buy? it's a magical double bladed long sword oh the double like one like the Thanos yeah. one yeah Thanos. I was thinking more like Darth Maul but well, yeah or whatever anyway <laughs> Alright, Yeah, so it'll be a 1d10 for hitting, since you'll most likely be hitting with uh, two hands, since it's. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and. That thing's gonna be taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, can you even use that then? I don't know, I have to check my proficiencies. I got some weird stuff. I just mean, like, yeah, it'd be physically, like, possible for you to use that. Like, you would have to keep it above your head at all times. You just swing it yeah. and be like a fucking helicopter. <laughs> 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 just because, like, yeah, your arms can't go high enough for the fucking bad the enemy. Sort of enemy. Like, <laughs> just, like, running around cutting thighs. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can go into it. And it's, uh, uh, plus two, uh, damage. A plus two? And you can use a bonus action to hit the second side. So you can attack twice with him. If he uses a bonus action. Yeah. Does Ryan depart from Cleric and towards Wither? I'll do my short swords together with some rope. (laughs) (laughs) See? A bargain. (laughs) You go up to Alvin, you're like, look at my craftsmanship. (laughs) Yeah, this is about 100 gold. (laughs) Yeah. And he tells you that once you're attuned to it, if uh, you can just hold your hand out and say the word and it'll come to your hand. That's awesome. What's the word? Uh, he says uh, it'll be up to you once, since you own it now, you choose the word. Alright. Alright. Uh, would I see that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, roll a perception check to see if you saw him leave with Alvin. Uh... Yeah, no, just regular, I guess. I guess I was gonna say it with a dis- disadvantage since he's they're both short. <laughs> Roll another one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you didn't notice them leave. Uh, I was just gonna ask him to do a blink like a dagger that comes back. That'd be dope. I want that. So yeah. my daggers can come back and throw them. You said it comes to your hand whenever you use yeah. it for fun. The long sword. Yeah, I know. So I was gonna see like maybe is that for daggers? Oh, mm-hmm. kind of thing. Oh, 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 I was going to tell you about the dagger, so you can go talk about it. Oh, okay. Right now, I'm, I'm a little confused, because Lazarus and I were going to go check out d Lake like, with me. said, this place is cursed, and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen my friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all alone! <laughs> it doesn't end! So what is everyone else doing right now? I'm just drinking. Man. Just drinking? Okay. I'm in, like, postpartum depression. So I'm also going to go chill with the uh, uh, Farron and just drink wine. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sitting at the head table. Yeah, I'm like I'm right across from have my water there. Yeah. Okay. Just chilling at the head table. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Drinking, drinking That's what I'm doing. Wow, well, boys! <laughs> what a day! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. What a day! <laughs> what a day! Uh, the party's quite something, huh? Ah, I don't really go to many parties, so... Neither do I. I'm always busy just in reading my books. I realize I don't really talk to people that much. I'm pretty busy with the voices in my head. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm drinking, so yeah, my yeah. is going You hear voices in your head? Yeah, a couple, yeah, here and there. To be honest, that's not normal. What do your voices tell you? You know, I think... I think I need more wine, and I'm going to get up from my seat and find another like, gun. Yeah, you, you, you're able to find some easily. Right. I'm going to turn to Aaron and be like, Well, that was fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't trust that guy. Yeah, I don't really either. You fucking weirdo. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like this fucking monster. In the background. It's like some fucking zombie looking motherfucker just sitting there. Yeah, what a weirdo. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes he's cool. <laughs> and then other times he's like setting fire to people. I don't, I don't get it. What the fuck? Um, maybe he's a sociopath. <laughs> I feel like we should probably deal with this then. <laughs> so at this point, do you hear uh, another song being played? It's called As Erythos Introduces it as Heroes of the Dark. And it's about heroes that went below ground. What? So, like, we notice this? Yeah. When I hear yeah. this monster, wow. I say. Do I recognize uh, Roll a perception check. I love that, dude. Did you just run outside? Like, do we're, I... we're already outside, aren't we? Do I recognize this song? No, it's inside. Oh, it's inside. Yeah. Pardon? Do I recognize this song is speaking about us specifically? Uh, it doesn't seem specific- specifically about you guys, but it does seem oddly similar, at least. Uh, what was your question again? Oh, oh no, uh, seeing if you could hear it from outside. You yeah. can hear this from outside. Would I be able to put it together and this made this about us? Uh, I'm also curious. It seem uh, just from him playing it, it seems like he may have, but... Right yeah. The card. Uh, if you were talking to him, I'd say you could learn more about it. Um, is there anything like specific that like I or you would notice like in the song that kind of is specific to what happened with us? Because like we went down and we went mm-hmm. to go save that that crying child, which wasn't actually a child, or no, it was, but it was like a, it was it was a child. It was, it was a demon child. Yeah. Demon child yeah. yeah. So like, would we notice anything specific to what? Happen, like, in the song, yeah, like, what is yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you do hear a few things that seem a lot like what he did, if not exactly like what he did. So, like, uh, you do hear a part about a lake. That's his rap, like, little mini That's rap. I almost swam through the lake on a Takasukuotoa. Yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> As well as a, uh, a powerful human. So... What you, you might incite this to be Alcaro. Alright, well, that's enough for Blaze to go up to him. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely, definitely curious, so I'm gonna okay. start heading towards him. Yeah, yeah, so. He's so many people taking up a beeline form, coming around. Yeah, so he sees you guys coming and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and. and <laughs> <laughs> he just stops fighting. Like, oh. <laughs> and uh he just finishes playing the song like it it's only about another minute until it finished and then he says and another cheer for our the heroes of Haria hey, and then some cheers come up <laughs> and he invites you guys up on stage oh. as he says that oh shit I return back to the theaters <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to confront him. <laughs> I'm definitely heading up on the stage. Okay. <laughs> Am I back yet? Yeah, you would have just gone back okay, now. So, so you back. see them going up to the stage. <laughs> like, oh, I like holding onto my hat and still talking to Alvin when I see them going up stage. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, <laughs> 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 oh, I don't like how you're singing about us, pal. <laughs> I, I wrote the song like a Probably a week ago now. You've been following us? No, I didn't know about you guys until you guys came here. What, what? are you talking about? It's real creepy how you know exactly what we've been up to. What What the hell are Something's you talking about? Off here. Your song about Heroes of the Dark? Yeah. That's us. Everything that, in this That village? just came to me That's one us. time. Can I inside him now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck. <laughs> what is that? I re rolled that. <laughs> Okay, good, a decent roll. Uh, insight is... 17. Yeah, he seems genuine. Like, he... Uh, to you, he seems like he believes that he... That the song, the last song wasn't about you guys. Yeah, well, I got news for you, because it was! Everything in that song happened to us, man! I've only just met you guys. 
I wrote the song like a few days ago or last week or something. When you say it came to you, did you have visions? No, like uh, at night sometimes, lyrics and like melodies just come to me in the night and I just produce them after. Can I see your instrument? Sure. And he hands you his uh, mandolin. Can I or can I check his instrument? Yeah, sure. So you knew this song last week. I got a 25. Last week or a few days ago, I forgot exactly when it was. I got a 25. Yeah, uh, you don't sense any magic coming from the this instrument. Okay, I'm probably back on the stage. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, listen, this is uh, an unexpected turn of events that we didn't expect. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like you might be like some sort of prophet because it's creepy how on point you are, man. Like the city being overtaken by the sea? That's the Shardana. And then the Shit. freaking uh, Heroes of the Dark. That's us, man. Like, we were the Heroes of the Dark. He just, he just very blazes his journal. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Uh, what was his other song? Uh, it was The Empty City. The empty sea, city. The sea took the town. Or the sea took the city. Uh, the heroes of the Dark. Yeah, yeah you see, you, what you're singing about is the Shardana. They would come to coastal cities. They would invade and take people to the depths, leaving the cities completely empty. And so we went to the depths, and uh, we tried to save them. Save the wrong people! Oh, yeah. That's how we got here, man! Stop him. Oh, God. Stop him. Why? He knows what happened anyway! <laughs> Why are you just telling this man our whole story? I grab the bar and I'm like, Are you <laughs> He says, listen, listen. Let's, uh, I'm almost done with my set. I only have a couple more songs to go. I don't think and you can play those songs. And once I'm done, I'll, we can all talk. This, this is odd. I think exactly odd. His last song is like, <laughs> it's just called, a <laughs> <laughs> Just like a conversation, yeah, a conversation <laughs> with Bart. <laughs> <laughs> like a moment happening right now. I'm just gonna look around. He being his our friend Blaze here just shook the man. Yeah. Say, How's the crowd feeling right uh, now? They they're, they're kind of looking up, like wondering what's happening. I'll uh I'll let go of him and I'll look down. I'll be like, oh uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble controlling my emotions lately. <laughs> 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 Really fucked up weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, 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 Blaze will just like wipe his wipe his face and be like, "I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a walk." And I'll just like get down. And I'll walk away, clearly concerned. Yeah, we should just cool off. Wait till he's <laughs> just songs here. We really don't want to play this hard. I'll play it. So forgive me. I'm over there. Of course, I'll, I'll meet up with you guys after my set. Just curious, what are the next songs you're gonna play? What are they about? Uh, they're actually the last. The next one I was gonna play was the one I wrote a long time ago, like before I actually got a following, and it's just a, a love song to be honest. Aww. It's about a girl I fell in love with a, lo- a while back. Oh, how interesting! Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, how does it, how does that relate to us? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I probably do have some information I could share with you after our set. Right. That's so Raven. Uh, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just continue on. Okay. Continue on now. Okay, awesome. Blaze is going to go outside and cry. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to my piece <laughs> of the table and consume a lot of wine. Okay. I'll go in a pair. <laughs> yeah, just, I'll head back to the head table as well. And just I'll go up and blaze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him crying. <laughs> uh, so the next song you do here is just a love song. And that goes on for about three or four minutes or whatever. <laughs> no, no. This song, uh, this song doesn't seem to have anything to do with you guys. Sounds like he's covering something up. <laughs> And then, uh, this last song is just called Freedom. And it just seems like freedom of pe- for people and stuff like that. 
is there anything you guys are doing while these songs are happening? Uh, or yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just yeah. changing my line. I'm going like cup after cup. Okay. Yeah, yes. I, I'm just I just am polishing off my bottle. Yeah, and then when I run out of a bottle, I go find another one. Okay. Wow, man. <laughs> yeah, can you roll a constitution check for me yeah. really quick? Like a saving throw at this point. Like an alcohol poison. Yeah, like save? Or just sure, fun? save and throw. Okay, that's six. Six? So at this point, you are stumbling everywhere. You're having a really hard time not throwing up after having so much wine. Mm, okay. And like, your eyes are not focused, focused at all. Good thing no one can see them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I don't even throw up in your mouth. <laughs> oh, I have a little slit so I can find a little bit. Gross. Yuckers. I don't know if I can get drunk because I don't require food or, or uh, I water. Could. I, I, I think you could. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess your That's brain is still functional. functional. Yeah. yeah. Your brain yeah. Still I functional. guess. But yeah. like, I, I think it, as a revenant, I don't need like food or water at all. Sure, yeah. So I think you'd still still be able to get drunk. That's fair. All right, well, I'm still just drinking my bottle. Cool. All right, well, being as drunk as I am now, I'm just going to find somewhere really high to sit. Just watch everything. Okay. Uh. You sit on the table. Whatever <laughs> 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 like a nice high place, even if it is just the table. So there are some windows with some decent sized like window sills, but they're like pretty high. Some are pretty high up. Some are like midway through the wall. This uh, this hall is probably around forty feet high, fifty feet high altogether. The windows would be at like probably around twenty feet, thirty feet. Okay, I'll go take like a look at the window. Okay. Okay. I'd sort of climb up some. Yeah, you can make me roll if you want. Yeah, actually, since you're drunk, oh, uh, just roll a strength yeah. check. Strength? Or acrobatics. Yeah. Okay. Or athletics, either one. <laughs> or? <laughs> yeah, so you get, like, powerfully up the way through the, to the window, somehow miraculously, with how drunk you are, and then you go for the next handhold that you find, and it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta uh, look at it for a sec. Oh. And then... <laughs> Uh, your other hand just loses grip and you just fall back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'll just stand up, give a stretch, <laughs> uh, see if anyone saw anything. Yeah, uh, about 15 different people saw what happened. Yeah, uh, yeah a I'll couple, just give a... A few, a few <laughs> of them are, like, gra- crowding around making sure you're alright. Uh, yeah, I'll just bow, even though they're just checking on me. Yeah. As they aren't, and then I'll just walk and sit on the table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These chairs are really high. <laughs> also, is my elbow supposed to be sticking out? <laughs> also, who put up their plate on this chair? <laughs> direction. I will take a chair and put it on the table. Okay. You take the same table that we're all sitting at? Yep. <laughs> I'm assuming it's higher up at least a little bit. Yeah. I'm just gonna morosely. Is that the right word? Morosely? Yeah. 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 Mor- morosely just. I do in my sketchbook outside. Cool. I just go up and play and put my arm around and just keep the real one. Okay. <laughs> Don't say anything. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, so eventually the music does stop and Zerthos like thanks everyone for being here and thanks to you guys again and then takes his instrument and just walks up to you guys and sits at your table. Uh, so, there is something I could probably tell you about, about my music. Sweet out. And he makes sure that there's not, like, many other people besides you guys here. And he tells you that... His full EP drops on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he tells you that a couple of years ago, he was really down on his luck, like, music-wise, and was... Having a terrible time making music and having people enjoy his music. A drum kit was a sound. <laughs> <laughs> and he got so down that eventually he made a pact with a deity. It didn't have an actual name besides the master. 
And from that moment on, he would just get visions in his head at night of different songs and music and stuff like that for him to create. This man is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> what if this deity look like? Honestly, it... When I first saw him, he just... It, it, it came to me as the image of my best friend at the time. So I'm not sure if what his what it would actually look like. A deity? Yeah. A king deity? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was fishy. So... What about one of us here? Who wants to go find our friend Blaze and just tell him that he's right? You could find your friend the cleric and just a thought. Really <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna go on a little business trip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go find uh, Blaze yeah. and tell him to return to the table. And uh, I thought that uh, I had these suspicions he was onto something. And then we can go find Ryan and bring him to the table. So they are in the same place. Oh, they're all together? We're kind of no, they're uh, just sitting outside. Right. Trying. All right. Um, <gasps> sorry about hey, Sorry about that. What's up? What's up? All right. Well, that that singing man. He's uh. Singing. He made a pact with a deity. Which one? I'm not sure, but we need like Ryan. You can probably find out. Maybe. Do you know something about that? Maybe. All right. Well, if you know something, you should see if you can figure it out from him. None of us know more. Well, the, is the deity of Festus? Like, I think, I think that's who he worships. Um, but I just I think he's having like prophecies or something. All Same right. thing before the end. All right, I'll go talk to him. I'll make my way to the table. Yeah, I'll go. Okay. I would like to. I'd like to apologize for grabbing you earlier. Oh no, no worries. Like if that happened to me, like, if someone was saying about stuff that I had done, I'd be a bit freaked out, too. Yeah, well, they um, said you were seeing visions from a, a deity. What's it? Yes, uh, I was only told, uh, to call it the Master. The Master? Yes. Can I do a history check? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, roll a history or religion check, please. Could I... So for history you have heard of her talk of the master, but it was mostly in from people who had gone insane or people in asylums and stuff like that. Do you convey this in the party? Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Not right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna just like turn the bar back. The ma are you sure it was the master? Yes. When did yes. you start getting visions from this master? Uh it was probably about a year and a half ago now. And like since then any music I made from those visions or anything like that has been super popular by anyone who, who I've played for. Which was odd for me since nothing like that had ever happened before for me. For my music. So basically you traded your soul for better music. Honestly, it uh, seems kind of that way, yes. Were you ever... This is going to sound weird. Uh, in a hospital of sorts? Or a medical in institution? No, uh... I almost died once, and that was actually just before I learned of this deity, or this deity came to me. What happened to you? Uh, I was ambushed by a bunch of bandits while traveling on the road to, like, whatever next city I was heading towards. And they robbed me and just about killed me. And in my last dying breath, in what I thought was my dying breath, I saw... The master come towards me, and he made a deal for my life and for my music. Because the master is, historically speaking, 
a deity that lots of people who suffer from uh, crazy people, sorry, crazy people often associate themselves with this, the master. So it's not looking too good for you there, pal. It's not good. Uh, I didn't know about that. Thanks for telling me. So I'll have to look into that more. It's one pretty cognitive crazy person. <laughs> I don't think he's crazy. I think, uh, this is a one of my wild theories here, but, uh, I think Master might be a real deity, and that all the people who believe in the Master have been labeled as crazy because people don't want to believe in him or something. And with your religion check, uh, so you've kind of heard the same thing, just that very few people have, uh, worshipped or like been a follower of the master and that a lot of people have gone insane who worshipped 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 him uh it's not a major religion in any way but from what you've heard they do seem powerful but you have no idea what the deity would look like or their actual name or anything like that maybe they're not a deity at all You said, uh... Would I know, like, did most people who follow the Master, like, meet them, like, after death? Uh, you're not positive about that. No? No. But that is a theory, though. Yeah. Maybe the Master is a sorcerer who helps people, and in return they worship him like a god. That makes more it sense. could be, yeah. Because no one else really knows about this Master, Aside from crazy people. I don't know. It's an interesting turn of events. Uh, Yes. Uh, It was... I gave up my... uh, Some of my free reign over where I go and what I sing about. And... Uh, and pretty much my free reign to ever find a home or have a home or somewhere I call home. So you're an eternal wanderer? Pretty much, yes. Sounds like you're the messenger for this master. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I honestly, like, the master hasn't ever told me to do anything for him specifically. It's only ever been music so far. What were you rolling for before again? Because you asked me if you could do a check of some kind. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, the only magic you notice is that he does seem to have some kind of magic with him. Or in him. But he is a bard, right? Uh, That's what we're explaining. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you for your time. Uh, no, I'm I'm sorry to have freaked you guys out with uh, my songs. So you have you ever seen this master since the day you made your deal? I have not. Uh, I've only ever heard like whispers in my head of lyrics or like music in my head of uh, m- music, I guess. I know that. Oh shit! Uh, You can go now. Thank you, thank you. I'll maybe I'll see some other time. Maybe you should just wander with us. No. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, where are you guys headed next? Deep water lake to fight an underwater monster that no one has ever lived to talk about after they met it. That was never fully discussed. Oh, sorry, that's where I'm going. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty cool. I kind of Listen, the point is it's too dangerous for you. You can't come. Why? Because it's too dangerous for him. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to let him die. Oh, yeah, no, I'm talking about me. <laughs> oh, you can come. Okay, I'm going to come. I'm of course going to come. Uh, I'll keep close eye on him, though. I was probably going to head to... Uh, Eight next, I think. I think either Eight or uh, what's this place again? Either north to Eight or to the west to Saint. 
Perhaps we'll meet again, but it's, he can't come with us. Yeah. <clears throat> <That's what I'm laughs> All right, buddies. Your ward. You take care of him. I mean, I, I can take care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I was mostly waiting for you to leave so I could say some stuff, but that's fine. I'll just say it in front of him. <laughs> I think he's under a spell. I'm not under a spell. Pretty sure you're under a spell if you're hearing stuff in your head, buddy. He most likely made a deal with the demon. <laughs> That's my point. He made a deal. Theron says he hears voices in his head, too. Oh, what? He's going to get up and kick the chair off the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think he made a deal as well, didn't you? I, actually, I don't know. That's my point. You're both hearing voices. You don't have you have amnesia. You don't. But if you're hearing the same voices, what is your, what do your voices tell you? Uh, the voice only tells me, like uh, says lyrics to me in my head. What do your voices tell you? And be honest. So far. <laughs> Fine. My voices tell me mostly that it'll be needed sometime in the future. Will they give you a purpose? Well, yeah. Just like your voices give you a purpose. I guess so, yes. My theory is that the master is a sorcerer or a demon, and you both made deals in the past. I have not made any deal. You don't know anything. You don't remember your past. The point is we can't rule it out. My throat I, is I, really sore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't exactly make a deal with him. He uh, brought me back to life and sent me on my journey pretty much. But you wanted to be a successful musician. Yes, yes. So you took him up on his proposition. I've had enough of this conversation. I mean, when someone brings you to, back to life, I guess I didn't think I had much of a choice. Anyway. In the end, though, it's a deal of some sort. I guess so. I'm going to walk off and leave. All right, clearly he's emotional. I totally get that. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling very emotional with myself. <laughs> I'm going to find the table of people to yeah. sit down and drink. Them. But that's my theory, is that this... Master isn't a deity at all. He's someone who makes deals with people to fulfill a purpose. And it gives him some sort of gain. That's all I'm at right now. Could be. But I guess we're heading up to Eight. We're going to make a quick pit stop at Deepwater Lake. Like, that's the plan, guys. Yeah, if you guys are heading to Ike, I, I'll I'd love to join you guys then. That's where my path seems to be next. I guess. That seems like the best course of action. So then we'll leave first thing in the morning? <laughs> yeah, uh, your friend there. I thought his name was uh, Sorry, Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell our friend Marcus Farron is a very mysterious man. <laughs> ah, Marcus Farron. Oh. Yeah, just like that's Andrew Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me to ditch later! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for uh, Alvin. Alvin? Yeah, yeah sure. I'll, yeah. Okay. I'll go with you. Yeah. Okay. Alright, because I wanna kill these knives. Yeah, you, you've never met Alvin before, though, either. And oh, right, you haven't told him. I don't me think that. you ever told him my about bad, him. Bad, bad, bad. Bad. Well, I'll spend the rest of the night at the feast, right? So. Yeah. At some point, I would like to go, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, that's my whole deal with the demons theory. On <laughs> oh, my table, I'm just going to see yeah. if I can convince a few people to help me get up on that window. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to go on the window so bad? Uh, so, these guys are already really drunk, too. And they're like, hell yeah! And they, like, uh, walk, go towards the window and are helping you up. Sweet. Yeah, and you get to the top. Nice. After a while, like everyone's stumbling and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, roll a perception check then if you're just watching. Do I get drunk? No, you're I drunk. drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get disadvantaged? Then? No, just because you have like like a high uh, line of sight. We'll say it's a nat eight. Hmm. Yeah, you don't see, you don't notice anything odd going on at this feast. Just like partying, drinking, 
a few people making out and stuff like that, a few drinking games and whatnot. Is there anything else anyone wants to do at this feast? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I'm all good, mostly. Would I have noticed the new sword that Ryan has? Uh, just roll a perception check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna ask you for it. <laughs> That's what, uh, seven. Uh, I, I don't think you would have noticed then. No. You will eventually. Yeah, like, with this being a big party and stuff like that, there's so much else that you're seeing around and whatnot that you just haven't noticed it yet. It's like when you're when you have a new ha- hat and you're like, oh yeah, everyone's gonna notice my awesome new hat, but no one does. Not not me, not me. No, uh, <laughs> that's actually Brett because Brett always oh, like really? has new hats that he likes, and <laughs> so I was like, you like this hat, you like this hat, but no one notices for a long time, and uh, then anyway, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, so uh, the only other stuff happening at this feast is that ev- some people are getting way too drunk. A couple of fights have started out just like f- ha- having fun fights usually, and a little bit of betting on those fights. And uh, I'm the okay, <laughs> you're joining one. Okay, uh, how are you joining? Like, what do you do? I mean, if they're having like uh, actual system to the fights, like one person's fight. Most people are too drunk for there to be an actual system. Okay. Well, then, in the crowd, better watch me start something just when I punch somebody in the face. Okay, then I'll punch someone in the face and be like, wow! Like, <laughs> like one of the guys who's fighting, or just random? Just random. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you targeting any specific type of person, or like size, or anything like that? <laughs> um, no, not really. I'm just really the person right next to me. Okay, uh, let's see, so... that This would be a dwarf. Like, he's a, uh, he's definitely drunk, and he's red-faced, and has a long beard, and he's, he seems like a pretty strong guy, like, he's got a strong build and stuff like that. Yeah. And so you punch him. Uh, roll to hit, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. So you go to punch this guy, and like you wind up punch, but it goes right over his head, and it hits the person next to that, which is a Goliath. <laughs> oh, and, like, it's a, a big Goliath, too. He's, like, probably eight feet tall, at least. And he responds and, with, <laughs> <laughs> And you hit him, like, square in the chest. Yeah. And he doesn't move at all I'll from th- that. What is that punch when I'll look up to him? And then he swings back at you. Uh, he, he got an 18 to it. I have a 16 year so he hits you then. And, uh, I'll, like, he, uh, he winds up and hits you right in the face, and he kind of, like, have to hit, move with a blow, and, like, knocks you over a little bit, but you're still conscious and whatnot. You're still gonna fight him? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll just have you roll, uh. I don't back down from too much. Yeah. I'll just have you roll. Three rolls in a row to see how this will go. D20s? Yeah, D20s. Did I notice this fight? Yes. Spectacles. What is your person? Do I add anything to it? Uh, just just your rolls. strength. Uh, so. 14. Ooh. That tied the skies. Nat 20. 8. Oh, nice. Just do one more. And a 19. Yeah, so. Uh, so after he hits you, you both try to hit each other back, and you're both kind of able to dodge out of the way of it, of them. Then, right after he dodges, you see there's an opening, and you just uppercut him, and you hit him straight in the chin, 
and his head goes back, and he looks really dazed as he, like, goes back onto his feet, like, oh my god. And then with that, you're able to get another punch in that straight out knocks him out. Whoa. Cool. Wow. I'll finish him off with a spinning back to it. Yeah, sure. Wait, was <laughs> <his conscious? laughs> no. I thought it was his sword that he was using. <laughs> 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 he beat him up as well. He yeah, so uh, after your next punch, you just do a spinning back flip and just knock him to the ground unconscious. And people see that and everyone's just cheering because that, uh, that is a badass move. Nice. <laughs> and plus, he was like a whole he- two heads taller than you. I'd just be like, whoa! Yeah. I'd cheer after that, and if I see any like drinks around me, like, if anyone's holding a drink, I'll just grab it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're all cheering when that happens too. And that's when a black raven comes down and lands on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> this place is cursed! <laughs> Uh, so was there anything else anyone else wanted to do? And you saw all of this happen too as well, and some of you probably were able to notice this as well. I'm gonna sit up at the head table and I'm gonna actually do a, a, a painting. Okay. Of uh, the feast. Okay, uh, I'll just roll a performance party. check. I'm just gonna like, hang on the windowsill, get like a comfy night position, and just pass it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Yeah, so it's actually a really good rendition of this scene. Yeah, I just wanted to draw, like, the whole feast and, like, everyone bustling around, since there's nothing much else to do. And and you, uh, a part of your painting was just Lazarus standing in front of this guy that was on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I got that, that bright yeah. little Eldrin in there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, is there anything else? Okay. Yeah, then uh, that's really where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons. Thanks. Why? <laughs> <laughs>